Hi there everybody, this is David L. Peters. Thanks for watching It's The Dave Show. Today I have another unboxing video for you. I'm actually really excited about this because this is the new Xeon or Zion crane for my, ca my camera. It's a gimbal, it helps keep things all steady. I got this from MassDrop, which is a group buy type of program. I got a really good deal on it. I'll put links to MassDrop as well as to this particular product on Amazon down below. So stay tuned, I'm gonna open this box up. We're gonna take a look. Hey guys, thanks again for coming back to watch this. I'm gonna open up this box. Again, this comes from Mash Drop. Uh, let's take a look and see what's inside. It's well packed, bubbles. Packing list. Sweet, I got a sticker from Mash Drop. It's a big M. And here it is. Oh, here, there's a nice picture of it right there. All right, this is it. The, the Zion, or Zion, or June. There's a lot of different ways to pronounce this. Crane, this is uh, V2 version two. This is their newest version. Uh, this looks nice. It's a three axis gimbal stabilizer. So it means I'm gonna get some really nice stable shots when I use my camera. Um, Brand spanking new again. Mass drop. I'll give you a, a quick thing on mass drop again. Um, it's a it's a group buy type program. Uh, so they post something up. They they arrange special deals with products, and the idea is if they get so many people to buy it in a group, you get a really good discount. Now I got this one at a really good discount. Um, I actually don't even want to tell you how much, um, uh, but I saved a lot on this thing. Um, unfortunately, this is no longer available on Mash Drop because it's for a limited time. It did take about a month from when I ordered it to when I got it, so it does take time to run through the process. But again, I saved some money. So um, Mash Drop is a fantastic way to, uh, to find some new products. They have electronics, they have all kinds of things going on there. A lot of them are at really good deals, so I'll put the link to that down below. Um, you can buy this through Amazon and your other favorite, you know, electronic camera suppliers. I will put my affiliate link to Amazon, so if you're interested, check it out. All the details and specifications are down there. I appreciate it. You get the same price, uh, whether you follow that link or not. I get a couple pennies or whatever um, for it, for, for sending you there. So I do appreciate it. It helps me make some more videos. So let's go ahead and open this up. Um, it is sealed with a sticker. Again, packaged very well. This is really cool, because it comes with an actual really hard case. Uh, this is like a Pelican case kind of thing. And you guys know there's a lot of reviews for this on YouTube. So this is just another one. I appreciate you watching my review um, and my unboxing for this. Check this out, guys. It's a nice padded case. Uh, there's a manual for this, which I am going to have to look over and read, because um, there is some setup. You have to balance this out. Um, there's videos on how to do this out on the YouTube, so I am going to probably have to go follow those directions as well to um, put this together. So here we got a uh, little battery compartment here, part of the handle. This is the main, oh, this thing's beautiful. This is the main unit. We've got uh, joysticks and so forth here. I will uh, show some close-ups of this as well. Two-pack battery. I believe it takes two on this. Now, I, I saw that there were some packages there's some kits you can get like deluxe kits you can get it with a, a big double handle you can get it with extra batteries things like that um, from what i understand is the battery time on these things are fantastic like you can go all day with this stuff now just throw that down there um, i'll probably have to charge these batteries so before i even do i'll set this up i'll be charging it up i'm just going to play with this here to see um, if it's going to work 
So we got the two batteries. They plug in through the bottom. Nice. I don't know if I even want to turn this on yet till I read the instructions. So we got that. So this is the, the, the handle, the gimbal. This is, once I balance it and put the camera on here, it's going to be all stabilized. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try putting my Canon, I have a Canon T4i on this, which is just slightly bigger than my new Panasonic. Now I'm shooting this on my new Panasonic uh, GH5. I'll see if it'll work with a, with a Canon. If not, I will film myself with a Canon and I'll put the GH5 on here because that's my new camera. That's what I'm going to be using this on. What else we got in here? Uh, we got the charging USB cable. Oh wait, you know what? No, I'm sorry. This is, I saw this online. This is a, uh, it is a UH, USB cable, but I believe this is designed to plug into your camera, to plug into the crane to be able to operate stuff. I'm not sure. Again, we're going to have to read the directions. This is all new for me. Uh, that's the battery charger. Maybe this plugs in. Yeah, this plugs into the battery here, and it's a USB charger for this. So there we go. Uh, thumb screws. And these, from what I understand of the, all the videos I've seen, is to adjust this. This is nice because you don't need any tools at all. They're just thumb screw adjustments. Um, this goes on the bottom plate up into your. Um, camera. Again, thumb, thumb screw, no tools. Awesome. And this, I have no idea what this is. It looks like some kind of tool. I'm going to have to find out, but there's a, another little item here and this. And then the foam is a nice sturdy foam. That's all cut out for the, uh, for the crane for protection. And uh, that's it. I guess the next step is try to put my camera on it, balance it after I read the directions. So I'll come back and show you what I got. Okay, well, I finally uh, got the batteries charged. It took about two and a half hours for the light to come on green. I just plugged it into my computer, so USB. And I got them inside the handle. Oh, you know what? I found out what this, this little thing was, this tool. It's actually a lens support. So if you have a longer lens, um, it goes on the bottom like this and help support uh, a longer lens. So that's what that little piece is. Um, so now I have my, my older camera on the device. This is my Canon. Uh, again, I'm shooting with the uh, Panasonic. And it didn't take very long to kind of balance out. Uh, in the booklet, they have a few steps. You can take it step by step. Again, there are a ton of videos on how to balance and set this up. I got it just kind of the way it is. Um, it's not perfect, but it does pretty well. Um, again, on the back side, there's a control stick as well as your power button and so forth. So I'm going to just turn it on um, and show you real quick here. Press and hold it for a second. Now it's pretty well, you can see it's balanced and it stays in place, which is pretty cool. Um, what's nice is that there's, there's different functions to this. this. This function here happens to be the follow focus where up and down it stays fixed, but if I turn the handle, it will slowly turn the camera. Now I had the, the, the joystick on the back will control up and down movements like that and then this controls that way. Um, if, you, if you press the button it takes it to another level and this, this is where I can twist everything and the camera doesn't move at all. And I think you double tap it, there you go. If I aim down it goes down, if I aim up it goes up, left and right. Okay so now this mode is the one that's the most popular that I see is you can turn it at pans, it stays fixed, you can just do the uh, joystick to move it up and down. So anyways, that's kind of what it is. Um, a couple of uh, tips I think too is the bottom of this has a, 
screw for a tripod. I have a very small tripod that I use to set this up with because you want to set it on something to balance. This is, you can sit like that, but it's a little unstable. You can see that. Ta -da. Um, and then the other thing is now I, I, this particular camera as well as my Panasonic has a flip out screen and I did not balance it with the screen out. I balanced it the other direction. So if you're doing selfies and you want to look at yourself through the screen, you want to make sure you balance it with the screen out. That seems to be a, a thing that people forget to do. Uh, I did not balance it that direction. Uh, another thing that I'm going to need to try too is for my audio is how to do it. Because I use a wireless system, so I have a little microphone and a wireless pack uh, on my camera. Now because that's going to be sticking out, I don't know if I'm going to be able to balance it with that um, or if I'm going to have to record audio separately. Um, and I also have a, a small um, Rode video mic that goes on top of the camera, so I'm gonna have to try it with that. Um, I'm gonna. This is all I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm gonna maybe go run around uh, my apartment complex and see if I can get some video um, on my Canon, as well as my Panasonic, and see if I can get some footage to show you guys on what it looks like. Now the Panasonic has in-body stabilization and lens stabilization. This Canon does not. This one has, I don't even think even this, this is a 50 millimeter lens. I don't even think this has stabilization at all. So I will kind of do it before and after so you can see what it's like walking with this camera by itself and then also doing it with this. So I'm gonna run around and do some trials and see if I can get this stuff to work for you guys and show you some footage. Stay tuned.
Okay, as you can see, the difference in footage uh, between the handheld and the stabilizer using the crane is a big difference. Now, I used the Canon T4i. I did change it to the larger lens. I had the 50 on first. I made it to the um, uh, 18 to 35 lens because I think a wider view was a lot better. The other one was too cropped in. I was able to balance it. It actually was very easy to balance it. It was a lot better than my uh, Steadicam, Glidecam kind of thing, which it will be for sale on the internet here shortly. This is a lot better. Uh, I was able to do it. Uh, no in-body stabilization. The lens does have stabilization in it. Um, so, but again, you can see the big difference between with it and without it. Then I used my uh, GH5 and you can see a big difference. Even just walking handheld, it's still pretty good. Again, I didn't do the, the ninja walk. I was just walking. I wasn't doing anything fancy to try to make it stable. I was just walking. Um, I did try to put my audio uh, receiver, my little transmitter for my wireless on the camera. It was too heavy. It was flopping either way. I couldn't get it to go. So I couldn't get audio while it was on the gimbal. I didn't try the uh, Rode mic, video mic, because it is smaller and a lot lighter weight. I'm gonna maybe try that again sometime, but I didn't do that. So there's no audio on those footage because I didn't capture it. Uh, my final review of this, um, my outtake is, it's really good, it's really cool. It was very simple to set up uh, with the, um, the little screws and, and balance it. It only took a few minutes to do that. Um, I went online to their website and they have a little video. That's eh, not that great. Uh, their book, their manual ha is kind of just what I followed and it worked out okay. Um, I did also download the app. There's an app for this that's supposed to help you set it up and you can also control it on your cell phone. Um, they have a uh, setup type function on this and I really couldn't understand what it was trying to do. It put some outline of a picture of what you're, way you're supposed to hold it so it can you know conform it for you and I couldn't tell what which direction it was supposed to be in. So anyways I figured it out on my own. You can figure it out. Go on and watch the YouTube channels because they'll, they'll really do it. Um, I think it's a great thing. It's worth it. I'm gonna get some a lot better stable shots. So links are down below, like I said, with all the specifications of this. There's going to be a link to Mass Drop. This one's not on there. You might be on a wish list so they can get it back on there and get a discount. Uh, there's also links to Amazon so you can follow that along with it. And I thank you very much guys for watching. If you liked my channel or you liked this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you give me a thumbs down, let me know why. Please subscribe to the channel and share it to anybody else that uh, might be interested in hearing what I have to say. And um, that's it. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.